Welcome indoor cycling fans for stage 2 on the Coco Rico Race League. Today's stage is the uh, 2 village loop, 38.7 kilometers. And right from the start, RF is really pushing on. But in just a moment, you'll see that uh, today's race wasn't going to be a normal race for uh, RF. You see it for the first time losing connection. 100 meters into the race, losing connection for the second time. And each time when that happened, his uh, power dropped instantly. Only a one kilometer into the race. And already uh, losing connection for the uh, third time. A fourth time. This uh, just kept on going. Especially when he got uh, reconnected, his power dropped instantly. So he was losing a lot of energy to uh, get back to the group. 4.4 kilometers into this race. And here's a first small climb. And uh, RF decided to go on the attack, doing a 6 watts. Losing connection and his... Uh, Power dropped instantly, as you can see on the right. Just uh, coming into that uh, corner, losing connection once again. So really sorry guys for not being able to uh, provide you the highlights you guys expect from us. We always uh, record these uh, races on two computers, but uh, today there was a lot of uh, internet trouble it seemed. As you can see, RF constantly uh, dropping out. Pretty uh, frustrating for him. Actually a nice race with uh, gravel sections. Just coming out of that uh, gravel section, back onto the road again. RF uh, dropped out once again. The first eight kilometers, RF was uh, constantly dropping power. He always had to push hard to uh, get back to the first group. We see it well doing a uh, seven watts just to uh, get back to that first group. first 8.8 .8 kilometers he still uh, succeeded now we're 15.4 kilometers into this race the ref really was getting tired after losing so much energy now doing a 6.8 watts to close that gap losing power once again Big gap, doing a 7.1 watt, trying to uh, get back. So this costs a lot of energy. Still he uh, managed to uh, get back. And after 17.3 kilometers, dropping out, once again losing power. He decided uh, he had enough. He 
It's actually a pity because uh, at this moment we decided not to uh, record on that uh, second computer. So uh, we're not able to show you the uh, first group. Really sorry guys. Hopefully this will get fixed for the next week. Twenty-one point six kilometers. The group from behind is uh, closing in on a RF. Ever since we uh, decided not to record on the uh, second computer, we got a little bit better. Connection was a little bit more stable. This uh, actually never happened to us. Okay, uh, after 22 kilometers, RF was back in another group. Hopefully he still had uh, some energy left to uh, take it all the way to the finish line. Catching up on a few sea riders. Almost uh, closing in on an uh, Ofsti from Norway. Seven point four kilometers into this race, onto the uh, gravel section with the uh, RF being on the uh, Tron bike. Maybe not the uh, best bike for this part of the race, but a uh, two village loop still has more uh, road surface than this uh, gravel part. Heglund from uh, Norway, together with uh, Le Gros in the front of this group. And after a 33.4 kilometers, it's uh, RF in the wheel of uh, Lutherot. I hope it, I pronounce it well. Not the uh, easiest of names. We have a, a small gap of uh, three seconds. Now uh, Lutherot trying to uh, break away. As expected. RF not completely fresh at uh, this moment in the race. Hopefully he, can, uh, he still can uh, get a decent result. The winner of last week, Mish Mish, is in the uh, first group. Back of the group, suffering a little. Really tired at this point. Has to leave a small gap. 
doing a 5.5 watts trying to get back and just to do so but it's still a Van Dongen and Lutterot with a cap of two seconds Closing that gap at the end of the uh, gravel part. Back on the road. This uh, group will take it all the way to that uh, final sprint RF uh, now closing the gap the groups back together so uh, with only one kilometer left to go group was uh, still together and hopefully uh, RF can do a good sprint. Eglund uh, in the front. Starting the sprint, RF started a little bit too late. Yes, I'm uh, catching up to do really pushing hard. 11 watts, catching up on a Le Gros and Van Dongen, and it's still a good sprint from uh, RF. And since there are uh, no leaderboards available on Swift Power for this uh, Coco Rico Race League, this is the uh, stage ranking. Roos won the stage, scoring 60 points in second. The winner of last week, Mish Mish, good job. In third, beat from the uh, UK. And all the way in the bottom, closing the uh, top 10, there's a uh, RF still scoring uh, 42 points. We also see a uh, Delabay and a uh, Le Gros from last week in this uh, top 10. So guys, once again, we do apologize, but we hope to see you next week for some more Coco Rico Race League.